Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and this is my Eat at Home series. We are on day, I have no idea, um, because I did not film yesterday, but I'm gonna fill you in on what we did eat um, and then we're just gonna continue to move forward, okay? It's gonna happen, sometimes my life is just too chaotic to film and edit and do schoolwork and do cheer and t-ball and clean the house and just, I'm also doing my um, fall pantry inventory, which I believe I am, you should have seen a clip of that in the last video or the video before that um, of what my pantry looks like. So if you're interested in that, that video will be linked down in the description box below for you to go check out if you're interested in what my pantry looks like and its current state. So yesterday for dinner, we had pepper steak and we used the little beef tips. And because it was a three pound pack, I decided to split it in half and only use half for yesterday's dinner. And so I have half a pack of beef tips left. So we are going to do my beef and mushroom using my shelf stable cream of mushroom soup mix. So we're gonna take this over to the stove and I'm gonna mix it up right there for you um, so you can see how that reconstitutes and works. This is one of the recipes that is in my ebook. If you're interested in that, that has over 30 shelf stable pantry staple recipes. And um, this is probably the one we use, if not the most, the second most. So this is like our top favorite recipe that we use and we use it all the time. So, and in order to make that, we use the Thrive Life mushroom pieces. I will leave a link to these down in the description box also if you are interested in ordering these to make the shelf stable cream of mushroom soup. Absolutely highly recommend. And if I had to pick a second favorite product, it would probably be their onions um, because these I use in our onion soup mix, which I'm also going to use up the rest of this in my um, crock pot today. So I will be filming making a new batch of this probably in tomorrow or the next day's video of my, this is pretty much just like the beef Lipton packets that you buy at the store um, of the onion soup mix. This is just like it, okay? But you get to control the salt, the sodium, the amount of onion. So if there's something you don't like about the packet ones, you can modify yours to be just how you like it, which is awesome. And it has no preservatives or additives or any of the funky stuff, okay? So I'm going to bring you guys over to the stove. We're gonna start up our cream of mushroom soup base. Um, so that way we can get this crock pot rolling. And then I've got like a thousand other things that I want to cook and that I want to film today. Um, I am out of bread. So we have um, some mashed potatoes left over from the chili bowls that we made. And so I'm going to be making a potato bread loaf, okay? And because I only have one bread loaf pan, I'm only making a half batch. I'm pretty sure I had to throw away my other loaf pan because it was just, it was toast. So um, I'm gonna do that. And then Xylee has requested banana muffins. So if I get time to do banana muffins, she's gonna help me make banana muffins today as well. And then I also wanted to make a um, blueberry crumble if I get time. We're gonna see. So lots is going on today. Um, this is gonna be kind of just a lot of stuff going on, okay? Um, for breakfast, the kids had cereal. We just kept it simple. And um, that's because I knew that my kitchen was about to be destroyed here very soon with everything that I want to get cooked up today. So let's head over there. Let's stop talking. Let's get to this recipe. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get started. So the mixture for this is half a cup of this mix with one and a fourth cup milk or water. I know that there's milk powder in here, so I am just going to use water today. Um, but if you want a super thick, like if you're doing a pot pie or something like that, um, I would probably use milk to make it a little bit thicker. Um, but I know mine's going in the crock pot and it's going to be on low, so water is just fine for mine. So I am doing, that makes one jar of like the regular Campbell's soup, cream of mushroom soup, okay? I'm going to double because I want two cans 
of this. So I've got two and a half cups of water. And we are going to add that into one cup of the shelf stable pantry staple cream of mushroom soup mix. Okay, I'm gonna give it a quick whisk here. And then we're gonna turn the stove on and let it thicken up. This will also give the mushrooms time to rehydrate and become nice and soft. All right. And also, because I know that we are pretty huge mushroom lovers here, I am gonna add in a couple a couple jars of just mushroom stems and pieces into this because they're going into the crock pot anyways so they might as well cook with the gravy mixture and add in their delicious flavors There's one. just going to kind of keep stirring that and let that thicken up slowly. Okay, so it's been about a minute and you can see it's already starting to thicken up nicely. So we're going to give it a couple more minutes and then we will transfer it into the crock pot and we will brown our meat and then we will get our mushroom gravy beef tips going in the slow cooker all right it's been another minute and this is nice and thickened up so I'm gonna pull it from the heat I'm going to transfer this into my slow cooker and I'm going to brown up those beef tips and get this all rolling. All right, here we go. We've got the uh, beef tips. I've got just a little bit of liquid in there because I've got other things I'm trying to do in the background. So I am going to get these browned up, turn this up on high, get this browned up. I've got a jar of beef bone broth. I'm going to put one cup of that um, into this once this is browned up and then throw it into the slow cooker. So there we go. I'll bring it back once that is browned up. We are going to start the next project, which I believe is going to be the potato bread. So I'm going to see what I need to have my oven preheated to and get that going. Toss those in here. Juices and all. I'm going to add in my one cup of beef broth. Stir this up. And this will thicken as it cooks down. All right, the next thing I'm gonna add in is some freeze-dried onions, which will also help to thicken it up because it's going to absorb some of that moisture. I'm gonna add in probably a tablespoon of those. I'm just using Thrive's Life pantry can. Okay. And then I'm going to add in the rest of my 
onion soup mix. You can tell we love onion here, so we are not shy with it. And then I'm gonna put this on low for probably four to six hours. I'm gonna check it in four hours and make sure it doesn't need any extra um, moisture. And if it does, I'll add in some more of that beef broth. But this will be delicious over some egg noodles or you could do rice. Um, I do have some leftover rice, but I think we'll probably do egg noodles and leave the rice for my um, son to have with his lunch. Or I'll throw the rice in the freeze dryer. One of the two. We got options. So that is dinner done. Let's move on to the next project of the day. And that is this potato bread. All right, let's get this going. And I also need to cook eggs for the monkey. So that is on the list too. Low six start. Okay. Dinner going. Let's move on. All right, here we go. So we're starting off with some warmed milk. I realized why this recipe was doubled because it is wonky measurements halved, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I think I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. I think that might be too warm. I don't wanna kill my yeast here. Mm, we're at about, we're at about 117, so that should be okay. We're gonna add in our yeast. All right, and let that start bubbling. We're gonna give that about three to five minutes, and then we will add in the flour and the rest of the ingredients. All right, friends, so here we go. Um, before we start on the potato bread, which I'm working on proofing my yeast, um, I had to pull a new jar of yeast because for some reason the jar I had in the fridge is not proofing, so I think it's bad. Um, so it took me a little bit to go find that. In the meantime, the kids are hungry, so they're going to have soft pretzels with cheese. And we're going to start getting this potato bread going. All right, here we go with this potato bread. I'm still not sure about this yeast, man. I guess we're going to try it and find out. So in it goes. I'm hoping it is not dead yeast another jar of dead yeast but it is definitely not frothy and foamy like it should be so we are going to go through add that add in sugar salt egg i am kind of eyeballing this because i honestly don't think this is going to work I think the yeast is bad, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to add in a fourth cup of potatoes. And two cups of bread flour.
tacky, but I think that is okay. The one, the one, the right one, the top one, like this one, like the bottom, here, that one, and now, just gonna stretch and fold. Okay. All right, we're gonna put this in our greased bowl and we're gonna let it rise. Hopefully it rises. All right, so here we go. We are going to make banana muffins. I'm just gonna do a double batch so each kid has their own and they do not fight. We got out. Okay, so the first thing you guys need to do is take your bananas, peel your bananas and put them in your bowl, and then you're gonna use the masher and mash them up, okay? Like with, with the, the skin? No, without the skin, you gotta peel them off. There you go. So this is a great way to not only get the kids involved, but to also help them start learning about quantities, um, Zylie will be starting with fractions here soon, um, and this is good for Cohen to just have basic math. So, helping out in the kitchen is wonderful on days when they don't want to sit down and do actual schoolwork. So, we will do actual schoolwork later, but figured we would start off with this little project first. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Good job, Colin. Good job. Okay, well, all my bananas are in. I need it. Yeah, we only have one masher, so you're gonna have to share. Really hard to mash bananas. Bananas? Yeah. I'll just call that oh, name. I would try oh, a lot of stuff. Let me see your um, spatula, please. My spatula coming up. Take all the banana peels in the bin. Come on, give me your banana peels. Good job. Teamwork. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, okay. Man. Oh. Oh, that's so disgusting. I hate banana peels. Now we're doing it. Nope. Really wish we could use apple I think I'm doing it, Dad. Nice. All right. Okay, so now it's time to start adding in the dry ingredients into Xylee's bowl. So we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour per bowl. I'll pour so that in. Yours. I've just got my five gallon bucket down here that I'm pulling from. Hang on, there's gonna be other things that you can. Okay. All right, we're gonna gently mix it in with your spatula. Yes, mommy. Are you ready for your flour, little man? Nope. No? Okay. He's trying to mix. Watch your belly peanut. Flour. You're ready for the flour? Yep. Can I see your bowl? Your mash buzzes up just a little bit better. Yep. We'll never eat so raw it's flour. It's easier for him to mix in. And never eat raw flour. Yeah, don't eat raw flour. You'll get you sick. You will eat raw flour. Banana. Why be you do it too? Why be you do it too quick? Oh, uh, then you get flour all over my kitchen. Can I? No. I want to. No, no, because I don't want to have to clean it up. 
How much? Okay. There's uh, your flour. Do it gently, okay? Because uh, you don't want flour all over the kitchen. Next, we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. So glad we got more baking powder from the last time. <laughs> yeah. Wine. That's a half of a teaspoon, so we're gonna do two of those in each bowl. Okay. Hey, mommy. Here, bubs. like kitchen fires like they're like humongous I mix it oh, that's why we'd be very careful okay here you go and that's a half of a teaspoon okay great job Okay, and same thing with the baking soda. Done. Okay, give me one second. Look, now you don't have to mix it anymore. See? is cooking. Oh, yeah. you, you like to cook? Yep. Actually, cooking can be really fun. You like watching TV. All right, half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I am going a little bit heavy on the cinnamon because that's how they like it. Over your bowl. There you go. Mm, it smells a lot better. Hey, yeah, mommy. It smells good, huh? Yeah, hey, mommy. Okay, a fourth teaspoon of salt. Yes, sir. Well, I feel like we're making apple cinnamon. Oh, we're not. We're making banana. I know. Okay, I just... so I'm just gonna sprinkle in the salt. I'm not gonna measure. Why do we need salt? A half a cup of sugar. I mean, why do we need salt? Uh, for flavor. What? Okay, half of a cup of sugar. I thought it was supposed to make it salty. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> oh. I'm going to taste that. No, let's not. So why? Because it's not healthy for us. Yep, we're supposed to be eating the right balance meals. And then it's one teaspoon of vanilla. I knew I was probably going to run out, so pull one out my next one. Vanilla. That's what makes it nice and sweet. With the sugar. Did my lips get down? Yep, you're looking great. Look at mine. Okay, 
next we're going to start adding in our wet ingredients. I know this is not typically how you should do this, but it's what's easiest for the kids. So I'm going to add in one egg each. One egg? I want to do the egg. You want to crack your egg? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm really bad at cracking eggs. That's all right. Yeah. Remember that last time, Mommy? <laughs> Good job. Uh, I did it? Yeah. Um, sure well, I'll crack the next one if I don't splat all over myself. If I did it. Yeah, good job, little man. <laughs> okay, watch your belly, Peanut. Hey, oh, dude. never mind. I knew I had some. Oh. Colin's over here hoarding the. Uh, That looks a lot more like ladder. Okay. And then they get a fourth cup of butter each. Ooh. I want to spread Be careful, the it's hot. So we get this. Do it gently. I want to do it. Got it? Okay, so your spatula. And then can I have a whisk, mommy? Sure. Okay. I'll grab a whisk. And the metal one should be in there. Thank you. Here, Mommy. All right, so that is all the ingredients for those. I will be adding a sugar crusted topping here as so, well. Mmm, mine looks better. That's it. I want to try that. I want to try to do that. No, no, no. I'm just trying to get this all done. But, throw me on. No, we just still need to add brown sugar. Mm, this is for the topping. Oh. So I for the topping, I'm just going to do some brown sugar, a little bit of butter. Well, I think we can use brown sugar as toppings. No, no. No, no. You're a bull. Okay, let's see your bowls and start scooping them. Can I scoop them? Did I do pretty good? Yeah. Can I scoop them? Do you want a little bit for you to do? Yep, use a spoon. Baby. But first, I'm gonna mix yours just a little bit more, baby. Okay, I'll go then me. Food. Yeah, see how those dry flowers down there? Yeah. We're gonna use our scraper, scrape it in, and get it all mixed in. But hard for me. Yeah, I know. That's okay. That's what I'm helping. Looks good. I Smells got good. Scraper. Okay. Scraper. Did you get bubble one? Oh, yeah. All right. Hmm. Got bubble. And I'll be scooping. Okay. You want to fill them up about halfway, okay? Don't fill them all the way up. Hang on, Zadu, let me finish. Sorry. Yeah. You got a lot of ingredients. Ingredients not combined here. Mm -hmm. I do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what mommy used to do. Mm -hmm. She just needs to get a better scoop. Whoa. Hang on a second, Siley. A little bit more in there, okay, pups? Okay. So I need a little more in that one. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. How about you spread it out and I'll scoop it in? Second. Maybe that needs a little bit more. No more in this pink one. There you go. 
Good job. Um, mommy, a little bit more on this one, the green one. Yep. Third scoop coming up. Done. So it needs about like three or two scoops. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, mommy. What happens if you fill it all the way up? Then it boils over. Oh, that's not good. Nope. <laughs> so what does that mean? It'll burn. Um, it'll not cook evenly. Mm. What would it look like? They'd probably be underdone and puffed up and maybe burn on the bottom of my oven. That's not good. Come on. You create a big mess for mommy. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta clean the oven. Yep. I don't love cleaning ovens. Good job, Tank. Look at you, little handsome man. Bubby the Baker. The, uh uh. It's not only Cohen, only me too. Oh, okay. You too? Yeah. You need a little bit more in these ones. Yeah, another scoop in them. Good job. I can't wait to get these done. Ah. Back there. Maybe one more scoop. Gotta move the bowl for a sec. There we go. Get that purple. Look, I see some flour. Mm, yeah. But don't worry, it's fine, right? Mm. It'll cook up, right? Hopefully. Yeah. It's out of it here. Okay, I'm just working on that crumble for the top of the muffins. Just got a tablespoon of butter and some probably about a fourth cup of brown sugar that I'm just working in. Spread in them. Spread, spread, spread. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Like, okay, so much. make sure then that your ones that you've got are full. You're doing good, yeah. Skip some out of here. Okay, don't do another one, okay, Zyla? You won't have enough batter. We're gonna use your batter to fill in some of Bubby's. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. No, no, I said don't do another one. What? You don't have enough. I'm just gonna share the batter. You can go wash up. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't. And I can mix the top in.
Oh. How much more battery you got right now? More than die. So, am I going to be able to fill up these two? Hang on one second, possibly. Yes. I'm not going to use it for you. Hang on, let me make sure yours are topped off. This one down here needs a little more. Time to get die some batter. Hang on one second. One, okay. okay. Don't do two, just one. What would you need the other batter for? There's not gonna be no batter left. Is that what Dad's eating? She's not eating nothing at the moment. this up a bit too much. Yeah, I had it perfect. <laughs> Got it, go to me. Yeah, did. It's okay. It'll still taste delicious, I'm sure. Sure, I'm sure. Can you go yours get some? Okay, I think that's it. Feels so nice and squishy. All right, so I just pulled the muffins. Those are looking awesome. And I've got the bread proofing on top of the oven since it's warm over here. So I will see you when it is time for the next meal. All right, and here is dinner. I just added some egg noodles at the end for the last 20 minutes and stirred it up and it turned out perfect. Hope you guys are enjoying our Eat at Home series. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. See you tomorrow.